Hello, kindred spirits. Linda Smith Davis here with New England Fine Living. And if this is your first visit to my channel, welcome. For those of you who have been here before, you know me, and you know that when I start a project such as cleaning up sticks in the yard from, let's say, this river birch that drops branches everywhere, and my mind starts to wander of things that I could possibly make with this. Now usually I would bundle these up and use them for kindling in our fireplace over the next coming season or two. But it started to remind me a little bit about the box of branches with little lights inside that I picked up last month. And I mentioned to you in a previous video that I thought this would make a great witch's broom. And that's when my brain started to wander. I decided to take this pile of twigs and make my own witch's broom. So I started to take out the sticks and cut off the stray pieces. And I did this until all of the sticks were done. Now mind you, I didn't have a real witch's broom to look at for a sample, so I'm going just by doing and let's see what happens. During my cleaning, I had picked up this stick and cleaned off all the branches. It was going to go down on the wattle fence, but I said, okay, maybe I could use this for the broom, but realized it was a little too small and wimpy. So down to the wattle fence I went to steal a stick that I placed there last year. And I think this one is going to be perfect. Comparing the two, I think the size is just right. So what I'm doing here is I grabbed any of the sticks that turned inward and I start with those kind of as my base. Now once again, I've never done this before so I'm a little excited myself at this point to see how this is going to come out. Now also keep in mind that this is going to be more so just a temporary fix. So I'm trying to use things that I can then throw this back into the compost pile if I choose. So I'm wrapping the twigs with a very, very heavy cotton that I've used in previous projects and it seems to be working perfectly. Once I used some of the heavier, thicker twigs on the inside, I then grabbed the very fine, smaller twigs and I ran all the way around the outside to fill any holes and gaps and to fill it up. And once again, this does not have to be perfect because I'm just going to ride it. If you decide to take on a project such as this, it really doesn't matter what you use for sticks or branches or twigs. Just make sure they're sturdy enough if you feel you're going to be standing it up on the bristles like I might to start here in my home by the dining room. I'll show you at the end, but I might hang it. Now, of course, if this is something that you want to keep, you could wrap this with a wire or a heavier string. And right now, I'm just trimming this off to give it a nice finishing touch. And here it is, my witch's broom. Now, if you haven't already subscribed, please do so. You might be watching this over on my blog right now. Come on over to my channel, hit that subscribe button, and you'll see how this broom and many other items that I'll be making for my Halloween 2020 home tour are being used. And don't forget to check out some of my other short DIY videos here on YouTube. If you're over on Instagram, I am too. Follow along at New England Fine Living. And say hi, tell me that you're over on my YouTube channel and that you were just swinging by to take a peek.